Welcome back to the Google Guru. Today's video is on some new Gmail search operators that let you filter messages by size, find old messages, and find mail that has no label. One of the advantages to searching by size is that if you hit the storage limit or come near it, you can find the messages that have larger attachments and delete them. The first one I'm going to tell you about is the larger than and smaller than operators. So this might be helpful if you're searching for a certain attachment that you remember, but you can't put your finger on exactly what it was. So I remember that it was smaller than one megabyte, it has an attachment, and it was from Eileen. So there you go, it narrows it down to exactly the email that I was thinking of. Now, if you were going to search for larger than, you would do maybe larger than 3 megabytes. And so all of these attachments have over 3 megabytes, so they're taking up a good amount of room in my inbox. So I might want to just delete these just to save up some space in my inbox. The next search operator that I'm going to talk about is older than and newer than. So now you can search for an email that's older than 3 months old. So in order to do that, I would just write older than 3M. And so as you can see, August 20th would be the most recent date. This is another way to clean out your inbox because you may want to just go through your older emails and see what you want and what isn't necessary anymore. The other way to use this would be to search for newer than. And you might want to use this if you use a priority inbox because then your emails aren't necessarily sorted by date. So if you wanted to just look at your emails from the past three days, you would just say newer than three days. And it'll only show now my emails from the past three days and nothing else. So another search operator that they added is has user labels or has non-user labels. So if I were to search has user labels, it will just show me only my mail which I've labeled and if you search has no user labels it'll only show me my mail that doesn't have labels and so this can be helpful if there's some mail that you think you've received in the past that maybe you forgot to label so you can just search for all your non labeled emails and go ahead and add whatever label is appropriate there these are some really great additions to Gmail search. I think the best use case for them is to help you clean out your inbox of old emails or old and big emails. You can always combine search operatives to get your search to be more specific. I'm gonna also post a list of all of these search operatives underneath this post both on YouTube and on the website so you'll be able to refer to that if you need it. So I hope this helps you manage and maintain a nice, neat, and organized inbox. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on the Google Guru.